really wanted to focus on the hidden gems. Most of the videos we see on the Cali show a lot of the tourist attractions. We're going to show you some of our favorite places to chill out. And some amazing food. The well, Lankawi Night Market changes locations every night. Lychee lemonade, watermelon. The best pineapple duck, arguably the best meal on all of Lankawi. They're spicy and yummy. There are so many amazing animals on Lankawi. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? We spent one night in Zitun at a great little hotel called the Sinkia Tani. This place is $18. <laughs> Pretty big. Refrigerator. Look at this view. That's beautiful. That'll work. Wow. Oh, that's a bouncy bed. That's actually going to be comfortable. <laughs> Time to go eat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely recommend them. We'll put the link in. Wonderful little street market. It opens at 5 p.m. Some of the best food we've had. And the people were so nice. We know the food's going to be good when all of the signs are only in time. Headed off to the ferry pier to go through immigration and catch the ferry to Lankawi. Tamalong Pier is where we're going out of. Everything you need right here at the ferry port. Even a money changer right on site that has a pretty decent rate to change your bot into Malaysian ringgit. We were able to buy our tickets right at the hotel. We just need to trade in our voucher, show our passports, and get our actual ferry tickets. This ferry is significantly more substantial than the last one we were on. As the ferry motored out of the port, we waved goodbye to the giant crab. We had good weather and pretty calm seas today. The ride took about an hour and a half. As we pulled out of Lankawi, we waved hello to the giant eagle. Off to the hotel. It's really nice to be in a place that has a great pool. It feels like an oasis. Most of the videos we see on Lankawi show a lot of the tourist attractions. And while the cable cars and the sky bridge and all that stuff is really neat, there's a ton of that stuff to do on Lankawi. We really wanted to focus on the hidden gems. So we are staying at Pantai Tenga, which is to the south of the very popular Pantai Beach, Pantai Chenong. The amount of motorized watercraft there is truly impressive to behold. Yeah, it's mind-boggling. I'm surprised there aren't a ton more accidents. We're going to show you some of our favorite places to chill out. And some amazing food. And not to mention, this place we're staying, absolutely perfect. For our stay in the Lankau, we found an absolute gem. Puka Villa is a little oasis in the jungle. It has a great pool. Comfortable patio city. seating. Seating, seating, it's seating. Comfortable chairs on the patio. That's what she said. And the room is wonderful. There's a kettle. And they bring us two waters every day. It's spacious with AC and a very comfortable bed. The Wi-Fi is good enough and it's less than $50 a night. Lankawi Night Market changes locations every night. Thursday, it's in Pantai Chenong. This Thursday, which is tonight, happens to be Eid al Atta, which is a Muslim holiday. So pretty much everything's closed, including the market. But at least the fruit and juice stands are still open. This is lychee lemonade. That is unusual. It has a floral taste, but that's really good with a little bit of a lemon bite to it. I like it. This one is watermelon. Yep, tastes just like watermelon. <laughs> Can't add to that one. There are so many amazing animals on Lankawi. We saw water buffaloes lounging around. The leaf monkeys that were walking along the line. They were so funny, and their babies were adorable. They're bright orange. And my favorite were the hornbills. One day we came out of a cafe and they were right in front of us. They're beautiful. Hey, Ma, what's for dinner? Located across the road from the Park Royal Lankawi Resort, Zhong Hua Lao is a top choice for lunch or dinner. They have an extensive menu, but we recommend starting out with a lime juice. Ooh, that's tart and then some Singapore noodles. 
which are wonderful. Follow that up with some fried vegetables and oyster sauce. And for an extra treat, pineapple duck. Oh my God. The best pineapple duck we have had anywhere. Absolutely amazing. I give it a 10 out of 10. And just around the corner, you will find what is arguably the best meal on all of Linkawi. Arani Cafe House would be worth going just for the staff alone, but the food is even better. There's a wide selection of Persian and Indian specialties. The naan is absolutely incredible. Each order is made by hand. This is the olive cheese bread. Then cooked in their giant tandoor, which cooks roughly at the temperature of the sun. The shawarma and kebabs are also absolutely amazing. As are the salads, yogurts, and pickles. Jose, the owner, brought us out some homemade pickles and garlic and some yogurt salad. They're spicy and yummy. The owner, Jose, is a little camera shy, but he makes a trip going here worth it alone. So friendly and welcoming, made us feel like family, and fed us like it too. You cannot go wrong with a couple of trips to Irani Cafe. It's amazing. Everything is excellent. And the view is pretty nice too. Tenga Beach has to be at the top of our list of hidden gems in Lankawi. We spend every afternoon out here wandering around in the gorgeous sand, swimming in the water, enjoying the waves. We usually have the beach almost entirely to ourselves in the afternoon. But as sunset approached, the surfers would come out, the beach would start to fill up. The fire dancers and the music would get started. This beach is truly a one-stop shop for entertainment. Make the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, now that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>